You have seen the basic form of an HTML page in the previous examples of both servlets and Java server pages. There are some specific HTML elements that you need to be aware of and you need to have some idea about how they work. This lesson is a demonstration of the creation of HTML tables and it's all done with servlets. Here's the source code of one of them. There are thousands of ways of writing a servlet that will do this, but I like to put HTML code in tables and then just output the code in a loop. I'll show you what this all does here in just a minute. The top and the bottom portions of the HTML file is normal. Here in the middle, the body of the page is output from the array of string objects defined above. I have found with HTML that a lot of it is the same for every page, so I often have more than one block of static code that outputs like this surrounding the spots of special code. If you've got the same code that goes into lots of different pages, you can even put that into a method call to a class in a jar file and have lots of servlets just call it. But that's another subject. Here's the page produced by this servlet. This is a simple table, two columns, four rows, and a caption at the top. Here's what the HTML looks like. The whole thing is being defined inside a table tag. Here's the caption that appears above the top of the table. And there are four of these TR tags, the table row tags, one for each row in the table. Inside each table row tag is a TD tag for each column in that row, TD, table data. Now, this is a very simple table layout. Now remember, this is HTML, so it only describes what it wants the web browser to display. Different browsers will display tables a little differently, but you want to stick to the standard HTML so all browsers will have a shot at it anyway. That's assuming that your web pages are being published on the internet for general consumption. If you're building a private page, you'll have control over which browser is being used, and then you can use the HTML for that specific browser. But even then, be careful, because as soon as you do that, the browser changes its ways of doing things. Anyway, there are some other tables to look at. This is the second version of the table. Headings have been added to each column. These are the headings right here. They are inserted the same as regular data, except they use the TH, the Table Headings tag. And here's another version of the table. This one shows a single cell of the table spanning all the other rows. Notice that there are a total of four rows on the right, but take a look at how it's done. It is defined in the HTML as spanning five rows. That's because it spans itself and four other rows. Because there is nothing else in its own row, then it doesn't show up. It just spans the other four rows. Don't worry, if you forget and use the wrong number, it'll remind you by looking funny when it displays. The next example shows a single cell spanning two columns. Now, this one works the way you would expect. Here you see the single cell set to span two columns, and that's what it does. It covers its own column and as many more to the right as necessary to fulfill the request. And this one shows you a couple of new things. Here are column headings, a single cell that spans across the bottom, and different cells set to different colors. Here you can see that the BG color, background color, is an attribute of the TH tag. You can specify the color by name this way, or you can specify it as a hexadecimal number. But you can set the background color of each cell of the table, whatever HTML tag is used to define that cell in the table. Now there are a lot more things that can be 
done with a table, but you can see the basic structure from what I showed you. There are some other table tags, but they all build on this same basic structure. It's basically a certain number of rows, a certain number of columns, and some headings and some captions. And you'll want to experiment with that number that specifies the appearance of the border around the cells.